to get rid of this powered by Shopify text right here in your store, which I'm sure that you don't want. It's actually quite easy. So let's come through to the Shopify dashboard. And once you're in here, you're gonna have to come down to the theme that you're using. So come to online store right here, click on this, then click on themes and come down to the theme that you're using with the website that you wanna change. So I'm actually using these themes right here, Brooklyn and Narrative on a couple of different sites but it is the same for all of them. So once you have the theme that you're using and want to change, come up here to actions. So click on this, then some different options is gonna come up. You actually want to come down to edit languages, this one right here. So click on edit languages. It's gonna come through to this screen. And what you're doing now is basically editing the code of the website. So you need to find essentially the bit of code that puts Powered by Shopify on there. So what you can do, search for the word Powered. This is actually a really great way of basically finding that bit of code. Now, as we come down, you will see it's right here, checkout and system forward slash links. You should have this and then down here, powered by Shopify. And right now it does say powered by Shopify. And the best way to basically get rid of this is to just put a space into that and then it's gone. If you actually take that away and there's nothing, you can see it automatically puts powered by Shopify there. Now you can actually change this to whatever you want. You could put any message in here. Hello, everybody. You could actually put powered by you or your store. You can put anything you want. So if I just put hello, everybody in here, come up and press save. Then we can go to the theme. We're just gonna press refresh right now. And you should see that on every single page in that footer section, as we scroll down, it now says hello, everybody right there. And it's actually a clickable link. So the best way, if you don't want anything there at all, as I said, put a space in there, come up, press save. Once that's saved, we'll just go back to the website and refresh this and you'll see as we scroll down, there's absolutely nothing there anymore. We just have the copyright Coffee ZG or whoever you are. So that is the easiest way to get rid of Powered by Shopify. Also check out more videos in the description. I'll link them below. If the video was helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one.